There's something about the sound and feel of breaking that barrel, loading in a 22 caliber pellet, squeezing that trigger, and watching that aluminum can jump. It takes me back to my youth when I was learning to shoot with my dad's break barrel air gun. What's up everyone, Brian Kirby here with Take Aim TV. In this episode we're going to be testing and reviewing the 22 caliber Ruger Yukon by Umarex. Now I have to say special thanks to Umarex for sending us this air gun for test and evaluation. So let's work from the outside in. This is a very elegantly crafted gun equipped with real wood furniture. The stock is ambidextrous making it easy to accommodate any shooter. The stock is equipped with a comfortable rubber recoil pad that absorbs what little recoil the rifle has. This also prevents the stock from snagging on your clothing, a problem you can experience with bare wooden stocks. The forearm is checkered for added grip. I will say this air gun has a solid quality feel to it. Moving up you have a Pictini rail. Now you can mount whatever optics you want here, but the rifle does include a scope. This scope mounts easily to the rail, so customizing the position of the scope to your preference is a breeze. Now if the scope isn't for you, this gun has you covered as well. This air rifle comes standard equipped with fiber optic front and rear sights. Now the front sights are fixed to the suppressor and are non-adjustable, but the rear sights are easily adjustable with two turn knobs for adjusting windage and elevation. These fiber optic sights are perfect for hunters who don't always have the most ideal lighting situations when the game presents itself. Inside the trigger guard you have a safety lever that engages automatically when cocking the rifle. I did find that the trigger guard does allow enough room to manipulate the trigger with a gloved hand. Now according to Umarex the trigger weight is 3.3 pounds. Now this two stage trigger is adjustable. Turn the adjustment screw clockwise to decrease pre-travel and counterclockwise to increase pre-travel. Now this has no effect on the trigger pull weight. Fixed to the end of the barrel is Umarex's five chamber silence air noise dampening system. This air gun is quiet making it perfect for backyard plinkers trying to avoid sensitive neighbors and hunters who don't want to disturb the woods. So let me show you how this rifle works. First you grip the barrel below the suppressor with one hand, then you break the barrel till it stops and you hear a click. That click is the gas piston action engaging. Avoid gripping the suppressor because it is plastic and not metal and it could break. The cocking effort is a manageable 30 pounds for an adult. On the other hand smaller frame youths may need help cocking the rifle. Load the pellet and firmly latch the barrel shut. As I said before the safety is automatically engaged during the loading process. The Ruger Yukon is powered by Umarex's Reaxis Gas Piston. I'm sure you're asking yourself right now, what is a Reaxis Gas Piston? Well let me break this down. A traditional break action air rifle uses a coiled spring. This rifle has a reverse axis nitrogen filled gas piston. Umarex flipped the piston 180 degrees on its axis. This makes it so the larger mass of the strut pushes the piston instead of the rod. So why does any of this matter? The Reaxis gas piston creates more power and higher velocity compared to other gas pistons. Now as a hunter I know mother nature is not always kind. According to the Umarex when the temperatures drop the Reaxis gas piston will still perform consistently. As a hunter here in New York I know the temperatures can go from 80 degrees to well below freezing and I want a rifle that can perform well no matter what the temperature. Now let's talk about the speed. Umarex advertises 1050 FPS with alloy pellets and 850 FPS with lead pellets. So we decided to bust out the chronograph, test out the speed with a few different style pellets and see how it performed. Now the numbers weren't exact but if you take variables into consideration I'd say it's close enough for a win and that's more than enough speed for any kind of small game. This gun does not lack in the accuracy department either. I was getting consistent groups at 20 to 30 yards. Overall I really enjoy this air gun. It's a pleasure to shoot, fast, accurate and powerful. Now I had a hard time finding negatives about this rifle. The scope could be a little better but the fact that it's included I can't complain. I do wish this rifle had the ability to mount a sling. It would make it much easier when out in the woods. Now the price of this air rifle can go from $200 to $250 and I think that's a reasonable price for somebody who's just getting into air gun shooting or small game hunters. Now I did have some fun using this air rifle to chase after some squirrels. First kill with the Ruger Yukon by Umarex. I can't complain whatsoever. This squirrel keeps knocking over my wife's bird feeder and everything. He knocked it over. I took a clean ethical shot. I mean dead nuts. I couldn't ask for a better headshot. Squirrel went down immediately. Ethical kill. It's exactly what we want. So let's get some more. We'll keep an eye out uh, and we're going to get this bad boy on the grill. Why not? 
For more information on Umarex air rifles, check them out online at umarexusa.com. Thank you so much for watching Take Aim TV. As always, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And remember, stay aware, carry often, and we'll see you next time.